Hey again, welcome back to our Amazon PPC course. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe for more Amazon optimization tips. So now that you've set up your campaign goals, it's a good time to find some good keywords. Keyword research is actually one of the most important steps in order to run a successful campaign. If you're able to find the right keywords for your product and they have low competition, then getting a return on investment will be a piece of cake. All right, enough of that. Let's get started by doing some in-depth keyword research for a product. The idea here is that we want to find both long tail and short tail keywords or fat head keywords. The latter usually has a higher search volume and with long tail keywords, you usually have a higher ROI because even though they might have a lower search volume, they can lead to a lot of conversions with a very low CPC since they usually have less competition and a higher conversion rate as they are more specific to what potential customers are looking to buy. There are a few tools out there for Amazon keyword research. We recommend using Sonar. Sonar will only consider Amazon search volume so that you don't run the risk of using keywords that are only relevant for Google. And the best part of it is that it's completely free. So let me show you around. First, you want to find the high volume keywords. The short tail or fat head keywords are usually one or two words long. They have the highest search volume, but are usually the most competitive because everyone is going for them. So let's say you're selling baby blankets. We're going to look for the keyword baby blanket in here. As you can see, there's a bunch of keywords for you to consider. The green bars show you how much search volume these search terms have. That should help us prioritize. When we start our broad match campaign, we will want to use higher volume keywords. So let's collect some of the best ones and write them down. You may also want to collect keywords to exclude later on by using them as negative keywords. For instance, when you're selling baby blankets for girls, you may want to exclude boy. For the exact match ad groups, we have to be a bit more specific. So let's narrow it down to only show terms related to baby milestone blanket to find some long tail keywords. As you can see, these have a much lower search volume, but are much more relevant to our product. We have 134 keywords to choose from, so let's download the list and pick the best ones for our campaign later. You can also use the extended search to find related keywords that match the initial keyword that you are searching. For instance, baby shower does not refer to a product, but it might be a great keyword nonetheless because of people buying gifts for a baby shower. What you can also do with Sonar is enter the ASIN of a competitor to see what keywords they are ranking for. So let's go to Amazon.com and search our main keyword, baby blanket. Let's look at the bestseller and copy the ASIN to Sonar. As you can see here, you will also be able to view exactly what your competitors are bidding. This means that they've probably done the keyword research before and you can now copy them for your own campaigns. You can also see what keywords they're ranking for, so that gives you a great idea of what keywords convert well. We can now add these keywords to our list until we have around 20 to 50 of them for each ASIN. All right, so now we have a list of keywords for our product and we are ready to set up our first campaign. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.